<clears throat> it's time. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, I don't know. What I do know is up in the corner here. Oh, and my laptop is melting. Awesome. So this is probably a terrible idea. Fuck. Why is it setting fire to itself? You can see it in the top right corner. Apparently I've done 68% of the game. And I've only been doing it for four hours. If that is in fact four hours or not four days, one hour. So we were at Dreamweavers. And we were doing stuff. But well, we cleared out Dreamweavers as we just saw. And we got these to do now. We're just gonna do Dark Passage. I don't actually remember a lot of Dreamweavers. All I remember is I liked Dreamweavers. And I liked the levels in Dreamweavers. Uh, I can't remember any of them really except for Lofty Castle. So, and the boss. That was always weird in Spyro. We're gonna make you work until you can hit the boss for World 1. Every other one, oh fuck you, you can just go straight up tackle the boss first thing, who gives a shit. Oh yeah, I remember these horrible beast things. Oh. Oh, and he can shoot fireballs, awesome. And he's, yeah. So, <laughs> connectivity to the internet of, like, humans and not creepy androids uh, everywhere has been incredibly difficult lately, which means I'm sitting on an entire playthrough at the moment. You see, we got these fools again. These fools. Um... So the whole thing is that when their lantern's off, the demons are scary. And when their lantern's on, the, the demons are fine. That's a fat ass dragon. I love flaming lemurs. I'm from the 90s. Yeah. So basically, they're more of a problem when they're big, and that's about it. Yeah, so I'm sitting on an entire playthrough here for Spyro, um, that I'm gradually editing. We'll see, they, they go fast, they go in. These guys go in when they're big and they try and murder your ass, so you got to be careful. It's like the whole theme is like, you know, when you're in the dark and you think there are demons chasing you because you're a, you've got an overactive imagination or something, you're like, oh, if I turn off the light, I have to run up the stairs. It's basically using that as a whole thing, which is interesting. Thanks for contributing nothing. <laughs> oh, and now I will get murdered. And they don't even really do anything. They're just... French Bulldogs, <laughs> like, it's playing on that hole, you leave a pile of clothes on your uh, chair when you're, uh, uh, turn the light off, it looks like a demon and it's going to kill you and it's like, actually it's not because it's in a, in a pile of clothes. These guys are just mini devils, cherub things, so the oh no, the scariest thing, a giant turtle. <laughs> How will I sleep tonight? Speaking of horror, <laughs> I've been. Oh, the horror! <laughs> Speaking of horror, I've been asking a few of my friends for good horror movie recommendations because I've been trying to watch some more satanic themed horror movies. Because the ones I've watched have been all. Oh, had 
have been just like really trashy, not very satanic ones. I watched Lords of Chaos, which isn't really horror other than like the reality of the Norwegian black metal scene for a while there was pretty fucked. Um, notice that lip thing he does where like he hits the lip of a rounded edge in this game and he'll kind of like trip and hop over it. Yeah, in the original he just hit the side of an edge which is very hard to perceive where the edge was and you just get wrecked and you'd lose a life because he would just hit it and immediately go, no, I'm dead, fuck you. And you're like, wow, great. I feel so, so like I earned that death. You know, and it was just always a little finicky because, you know, draw distances and whatnot as well back in the day. And the angular polygonal state of things. So I've been meaning to watch more horror movies, but like the way my job works is I can either watch a horror movie in the middle of the fucking morning <laughs> with my breakfast, which just feels weird, uh, or I can, um, oh, it's just a fool's. Uh, or I can uh, watch it at like midnight <laughs> when I'm probably going to shit myself and probably terrify the neighbors as well as they hear random satanic screaming because, you know, in this country they're all curtained witches so they'll probably be sitting there with a cup against the wall saying, he's doing that foreigner satanism again. Liz, want to live. So yeah, I'm just, uh, ah, ah. I don't remember a lot of this level. I remember the theming and that's about it. I'm just slaughtering dogs. That's all I'm doing. This feels horrible. I'm the true monster here. Oh! Angry squirtles. Fire squirtles. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, I'm sitting on a lot of these. Uh, I will get around to actually putting them up when the upload rate isn't literally like so bad it can't remember the tag or the title or the permissions I put on the video as I type in the data because it's literally forming handshakes with the website so slowly that it's forgetting the data if I move to another page because it can't remember like different tabs of the upload menu. It's real fucked. So I'm sat there like, um, do I fly that or do I fly on this? Oh, is that where I came from? It was. I'm dumb and can't pathfind. has been going on with me. I sat in a Porsche today because my school is a school for young adults and adults so the uh, the ECA style like or PBL or whatever you want to call that because each company has its own name for it. Um, you know they're kind of like outing basically they do stuff that's a little more like, oh, it's not just we're going to a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. I rescued Obama. Man, Obama, you changed up the presidency. Uh, they do say the stress of it does change you quite a lot. I don't even know where I'm going with this. 
a straight up just like a devil cupid. It's not even like trying to be anything other than that. Ow. Look at this guy leading his shots. Oh, he's just an asshat. There we go. Uh, yeah, so they tend to do stuff that's quite interesting, but like they don't really expect me to do much, which is what's so weird. They just like have me there and say, what are your opinions on this? I'm like, well, I think Porsches are nice because it was sad. a Porsche retailer. And they're like, oh, it doesn't even matter if you're barely coherent. Just show up in a suit, hold a microphone and grin for the cameras. They love it. They don't speak English, though, so they don't really give a shit what we do with it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And then we go and sit in a Porsche, and they give me a free Porsche embossed uh, vacuum, you know, one of those vacuum flasks, and it's actually pretty nice quality, and you're like, oh. Oh, I don't know. I did it. I don't know. How oh, yeah, because that was the firework one. And they were like, oh, you might be able to test drive it. And I pulled out all of my licenses because I have two separate ones, but neither are for China. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. Passing my driving test in two much better regulated countries for driving and vehicle safety and road law and highway code isn't good enough for China. I need to prove it by dealing with racist bureaucrats and driving in a figure eight circle. Because then, only then will I prove that I'm strong enough. Wow. Off-screen bullshit here. Only then will I prove myself strong enough for the, the grueling tests. And like, I was having this conversation. Uh, I wasn't having that whine, <laughs> but like whiny conversation. I was having a conversation with... Um... Ooh, I felt like he was falling for a bit. Uh, I was having uh, a conversation with one of the Chinese staff about it, saying, so I'll have to change my thing over. They said, it should be fine. You could probably do it online and then just show up at the traffic police and be like, to prove you exist. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll have to go do that at some point, you know? If they can just do it online. Someone send me the website and I'll just fill in the data and then if they say well you've got to go to this place and they're not going to let you in because you whites you have to go through the back door don't enter the same way the Chinese do start thinking you're actually in, on, on equal footing with us enter through the back door I wish I was joking <laughs> like I wish I was joking only reason people don't treat Chinese people like they are the new level of Nazis is because not enough people can read Chinese and understand their attitudes, unfortunately. Not all of them, but some of them, holy shit, <laughs> racist. <laughs> they don't even care. I used to love this one. You can't hit him, but you could hit his balloon. And it just makes you think, why are they even floating to start with? these weird flying platypus things. Basically, Spyro is enter a world, slaughter all the indigenous wildlife, steal the gems. To be fair, though, they equate it as, hey, man. You know, these guys show up in a lot of levels. They say a lot of it. It's like, hey, man, the gems have been enchanted into evil enemies and they're not normally... Oh. Or I'd need a cannon or something. And they're not normally here, but it's like they're pretty barren environments without the wildlife, you have to admit. Like, there's a few sentient mushrooms, and none of this is, like, standard for them. It's like, it's a pretty dead environment with... Oh, yeah, so you release the fairies, and they give you the thing. I feel like that's pretty far. We're just gonna add a little peep around. You you die a lot on this one because there's a lot of like height based platforming in this one. But anyway, I don't want to like always brag on the Chinese because it's their culture to be this racist. Their precious culture. So yeah, this is fucking awesome, isn't it? <laughs> don't step on the 
Don't tread on their right to fucking treat everyone like they're lower. Oh, man. I got a story for that, like... So, like, I'm full-time at my job, and they're like, we really need another full-time. Why has he got... Oh, that doll's horrible. Oh. Bleach my eyes. Creepy guy with his, like, realistic body pillow says, Fairies are always on your side. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need to stop ruining everything <laughs> with my, uh... Horrible, jaded attitudes. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we've got three part-timers who have all started within the span of a month and a half. And I'm like, they're still overloading my um, schedule. And I'm like, why we have three part-timers? Why aren't either of any of them full-time? And they added the third guy recently, and I was under the impression he was, and they were like, oh, he doesn't want to be. And I'm like, really? He doesn't want to be. Yeah, and I was talking to him, and I was talking to two of the other two guys, and they all want to be. And I'm like, and guess what they all have in common? They're all black. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the reason. No, they want to be full-time. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to be full-time. They literally saying to me all the time, geez, I could do with more hours like you. And I'm like, well, man, you should be full-time, right? And they're like, yeah, I'm trying to. But they're not taking me seriously. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And what's really weird is they have South African guys who are black on the team already who are full-time. But... There's one, and they treat them like shit. And, like, shit like that makes me uncomfortable and makes me go, ah, this is why I hate China. Because eternally, I'm made to feel like, oh, great. By existing in this culture, I am encouraging constant racism towards blacks. But also, constant kind of mild uh, racism towards me. <laughs> white person, honky guy. And it's just like, I can say that, that's my word. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, it just kind of makes you sit there and it's like, dude, I'm not going to sit and like talk to black guys about how fucked up and racist the culture is, because that's just like, I can't say that shit. I'm a fucking white ass, white piece of shit. Like, it's just like, you know, like, I can't even pretend to understand at the same level that they do. At least I haven't been shot for existing, you know what I mean? Like, but, like, it is pretty fucked up over here. Uh, I mean, really fucked up with that, in, with the employment attitude, where they literally get paid less, don't get the same even option to be on in a... Um, Uh, to be in a uh, full-time contract, and then all the stuff go, oh, yeah, no, they are. And the difference between them talking to me and talking to a black guy who's fluent in Chinese when I am actively avoiding learning Chinese because I'm just sick and tired <laughs> of dealing... Because you learn Chinese and all you learn is, wow... Random passers-by are constantly commenting on my skin color and making racist slurs. Awesome! I'm glad I learned this language, so you just don't bother. Because people are really rude here, and it literally goes like black guys have told me before. They, they point at the guys like us and go, Ugh, white guy. Like, foreigner, foreigner. Every time they see a black guy, they go, black foreigner, black foreigner. And it's just like staring at them like they're zoo animals and it's just like this is not acceptable in 2020 fuck you and your culture <laughs> fuck off that's rude everyone knows that's rude and they're like oh we're trying to encourage older people it's like you've got seven year old kids in princess outfits open mouth staring at me when I'm in a fucking Burger King eating until I turn around and chew at her and go go away like a blackadder thing. Go away. 
And until, like, then if they don't go away, I go find their mum and say, your disgusting racist kid keeps staring at me like I'm a zoo animal. I would like to be eaten in peace. Tea with your shit, kid. <laughs> like, you know, maybe don't normalize racism from a young age. Like, oh yeah, go stare at the honky. <laughs> like, and again, I don't even have it the worst because I'm a white guy in Asia, so we get it a lot less worse than, say, black guys everywhere. But, like, holy fucking shit, is it bad? Sorry, I'm really bitchy about this because it's just so unacceptable in a modern era. And they're just like, oh, well, you know, like it's like somehow like, you know, endearing. And it's really not. <laughs> like, you know, having cops pull you over because of your race is not endearing. Having cops and people shout at you because of your race is not endearing. It's, wow, this country's bigoted to shit, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that endearing racism, because that never gets old. Oh, hey, it ages fucking poorly. Oh, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it first time. Yeah, that used to be way fucking harder. Holy shit, I remember, like, spending hours because of the polygonal edges, like I mentioned before. But we did it first time. Anyway, what else was I complaining about? So yeah, literally, we've got three members of staff who I'm sat there like, these guys really want a job. And literally, you're talking to me as if they're full time. And then I'm like, so where's da 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 da? You know, like one of them. One of the three guys. Because each week they introduce a new guy and they're like, oh yeah, him. Yeah, we don't have any classes for him. And it's like, you're making me work six days a week but you don't have classes for him. Yeah, we don't. And you're like... And they're like trying to make out it's something to do with me, and I'm like, dude, like, give them some of my classes, it's fine. Yeah, no, 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 we can't do that. And it's like they can't justify it in a time when they have one foreign teacher, and you're like... Because I think they're sitting there thinking that they can hold out. It's like, we have to rely on them, them right now. But, you know, sooner or later, the real foreign... And it's just like, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not cool. And it's genuinely making me be very affected on, like, whether or not I'll stay. I mean, I don't want to stay in China anyway, but, like... This company specifically, I'm just going, oh, I can't deal with it because it's just like, it's one of the most, like, it's fine for me, of course, because, like, I'm, like, the least offensive to Chinese uh, people. I'm white British, and they just go, oh, yes, oh, yeah, the classy one, the classy non-Chinese, and it's like, to be honest, <laughs> like, do you know what classy is? Okay, fine, whatever. Um... And it's just like, you know, any any race that's just got so obviously bigoted culture is just like, do you know what class is? Because I don't think you do. <laughs> you know, I think you know what bigotry is. Uh, but, you know, fine, okay. <laughs> and, you know, I don't claim to know their complicated, incredibly racist culture. But, like, um, they're literally hiring these people, and some of them are South African, and some of them are straight up from America. And they're like, yeah, but you know. And it's like, yeah, but you're racist. Potato per racist. <laughs> you know, it's a bit like, how can you justify this? Please, I'd love to hear the argument. Like, oh, you know. And it's like, no, I don't. I don't. Like, why Why the fuck would I know? <laughs> you know how, do you, how do you make this okay? And their best way is to just pretend that they don't know what I'm on about. So they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it's their choice. And they like the excuse changes every time I talk to them. It's like, you're desperate. They're desperate. But you're literally holding out and getting three part-time black guys because you can't deal with having one full-time black guy. 
because you're hoping that the moment it goes back and all of your lovely white teachers come back, you can go, oh yeah, well that's back to normal, get rid of these guys now, I don't need them anymore, and that's the problem gone. And you're like, oh, I can't deal with this shit. I can't deal with this shit. Like, I hate it. Fucking hate it so much. If I'd known that they were like this, and how the fuck would I have known? They didn't have a single foreign teacher when I started because of COVID. <laughs> like, I'm sat there like, you got to be kidding me. This is what they're like. And, uh, yeah, one black South African, and apparently from a source, from a white Irish guy who uh, left the job, he said to me, yeah, he's been there seven years. They wouldn't refuse to give him a visa or treat him like a fucking human being for, like, most of that time. And I was like, oh, well, I just killed myself. And I was just like, oh, thought he was a nice bloke. And he's been here for years. He's married to a Chinese chick. He's got a house with this chick. He's been with her for years. And I'm just like, and they treat him like he's garbage. Because he's either colored or black. I mean, I don't exactly go around and go, I'm sorry, sir. You seem a little dark there. What kind of race are you? Because <laughs> I'm not fucking... <laughs> I'm not that out of touch. <laughs> yeah, the pain. The physical pain of dealing with this on a regular basis. And like I said, I can't even begin to be on the same level, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm looking at all these hard to reach places thinking, I'm dumb, it's clearly, and it's just down here. Shall we move away from this horribly dank, there's one, oh good, thank god, thanks Satan. My cat's come to kill everything. No, don't knock over the new vacuum cup, please. It's going to make a loud bang. No! <laughs> oh, why? So yeah, I don't need to do this. I'm just doing this because I'm a pooper. Which is just basically my life. Yeah, like every, every place you go to, every business you go to, there's something wrong. And it's like... Every country you go to, there's something that just makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> like, you know, like I sit there and I think, no, New Zealand's nice. And it's like, because I won't notice the latent homophobia and patriarchy because I'm a fucking straight man. And then I go, oh, oh, no. <laughs> like, you know, or like, yeah. Yeah, there's always something, and you're just like, oh, oh, why? I'm blind. Where am I going? I think I went to the wrong place. I did. Or did I? Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm lost on the exit. There it is. Oh, I'm going to die now. Oh, good. That feeling of, like, from the classic phobia. The phobia from the classic of, I didn't perfect frame advantage top of my jump glide there. I probably killed myself before I even know it. Because they're always, like, one inch from death polygons that are, like, coin flip if it says that you're actually going to hit it above or below. No margin for error on a flat 2D plane. You're over above that plane or you're below it. Get wrecked. Okay, so that's the first two. Sorry I just spent most of the time ranting, but it was making me very uncomfortable because it's like everywhere you go, it's either like, oh yeah, like this is fine, I guess. Uh, and then you find some horrible bullshit and you're like, I just don't know if I can deal with that. And then, like, the other thing is, like, you know, so it's, it's always, like, there's something that you pick at. Okay, there's got to be more than just two basic levels and a boss. Uh, let's go find... 
yeah, like, it's, it's been a tough time. Oh, yeah, that would have killed me before. Instead of letting me flap up to it. You mean? Oh, I got 32 lives. When? So that's Dark Passage over there, right? There was one called Something Park, and I think that was the one we saw out the corner of our eyes on the... Uh, he never shoots this at you, because then they didn't put a thing in for big spiral, small spiral. There should be another one. There must be another one here as well, though, because I remember something about a castle. Oh! He punted me off the edge! Cheeky bastard. Don't admire his candle. There's the MVP of the match right there. I'm glad it reminds me every time I load into the world. Hey! Oh, he did try to do it again! Huh. Sneaky bastard. Yeah, this was the one I was thinking of. There's a castle and there's knights with armor and stuff. Let's go look at that first. I'll just save it here in case I somehow manage to get wrecked. Okay, we'll pause here and I'll do the next session.